OpenAI has officially launched ChatGPT Enterprise. Starting today, if your company has to use ChatGPT, there is a new enterprise version. Before you move on to the next section of the video, I would like to quickly give you the feature run through of all the available features of ChatGPT Enterprise. The first thing is it has got enterprise grade security and privacy. The prompts that are typed by you and your company are not going to be used by OpenAI for training their models. The data encryption at rest for the data that is available is AES 256 and the data encryption in transit is TLS 1.2 plus and it has also certified SOC to compliant which is an auditing compliance. It also helps you in large scale deployment. For example, if you ever have to deploy a software in large scale for an enterprise or organization, there are a few things that people, people typically look for. The first one is an admin console with bulk member management where you can add employees, where you can remove employees. You've got SSO, single sign on, domain verification, and most importantly, analytics dashboard for usage insights. Not just that, ChatGPT itself is beefed up. You get unlimited access to GPT-4. In fact, higher speed performance of GPT-4 2x faster. Whatever OpenAI was calling as code interpreter is now being called as advanced data analysis. So you get unlimited access to code interpreter. You have 32K context windows for 4x longer inputs, files and follow-ups. You can have shareable chat templates that you can share across your company. For example, if you have got like template in marketing team, you can share it with everybody. You can have templates in data science team. You can use it. And finally, OpenAI is also offering some free credits to use their APIs. If you need to extend OpenAI into a fully custom solution for your organization, if you are a chat GPT enterprise customer, this is a quite an achievement. And uh, this was like coming for a long time. I don't know if you know this thing, but Microsoft sometime back released something called Azure chat GPT. In fact, it was released on GitHub and then it, I think in a day or two, it was taken out. So it is still not available. So if you go to GitHub slash Microsoft slash Azure chat GPT, you would not find anything. But this is something that Microsoft announced and then took it down immediately. I heard on like some rumors that there were some disagreements between Microsoft and OpenAI in releasing an enterprise version. But it makes sense now that OpenAI has launched its own enterprise grade chat GPT. And they've listed a lot of companies. In fact, companies like PwC, companies like Asana, Shopify, a lot of different companies using enterprise grade chat GPT. And you can see certain examples, what you can do with that. Whether it is asking simple questions or asking chat GPT to write documents or asking chat GPT to analyze a data file, a CSV file by uploading it to code interpreter, you can pretty much do everything. There is a huge testimonial from Zapier co-founder and head of Zapier AI. Half of the Zapier employees are all now leveraging AI in their work. ChatGPT Enterprise lets us work with sensitive data due to the enhanced security and privacy controls. And you can also see a small mock-up of how the domain, cons domain verification and SSO and analytics dashboard look like and also how a dedicated admin console for bulk user management look like. And you can hear it from PwC as well. And you've got a bunch of good testimonials and OpenAI claims that 80% of Fortune 500 companies already have employees using ChatGPT for work based on the corporate email address with which they signed up. So if you were to compare the plans, the free version is what most people are on. So it is still the regular 3.5. The ChatGPT Plus version, which is the monthly $20 version, where you get GPT-4 and Code Interpreter. Once again, they renamed it to be Advanced Data Analysis. But the chat GPT-4 messages are capped at 50 messages every three hours and the enterprise version where everything is unlimited, longer inputs with 32K tokens and unlimited advanced data analysis, which is code interpreter, shareable, internally shareable chat templates, dedicated admin console, SSO domain verification and analytics, API credits to build your own solution and enterprise data is not used for any training. So this seems like a huge huge push from OpenAI for profitability and I guess this is a moment that a lot of company has been waiting for if you have if you have been working for a very big corporate company there is a very good chance that your company had issued a security message saying that do not use chat GPT or at least do not use chat GPT with company data that might change if your company manages to secure OpenAI's chat GPT enterprise and I think it is a no-brainer for a lot of companies tie up with OpenAI at least one for PR 
and second for letting their employees use chat gpt rather than them using chat gpt with the free version seems like a great win win for both employees companies and also open ai open ai has also announced that there are more features in the works and they'll launch them as soon as they're ready the first one or the most important one is customization so how you can extend chat gpt's knowledge with your own company data i mean there are a lot of startups already trying to do there are certain plugins also but this will be a mind blowing or a are an amazing change if this comes in because a lot of people in companies especially big companies are trying to build internal solutions that would use their own company data with chat gpt so that they can chat with that if open ai manages to integrate this or release this within chat gpt i think this is going to be a killer feature for this and a lot of companies would probably sign up for enterprise edition so the way they are trying to do is connect with your company data by connecting the applications that you already use and also to make it available for all team sizes so they are planning to have like a self serve chat gpt business offering for smaller teams and then have power tools like even more powerful version of advanced data analysis which is basically code interpreter and browsing which is internet capability which in chat gpt and also they are planning to build solutions for your function so can they help you build more specific tools for specific roles for example data analysis marketers customer support so seems like this is the three main uh, functions that they are targeting definitely code interpreter or even the rebranding of advanced data analysis seems like they are targeting data analysis and it seems like already marketers are a big fan of chat gpt and customer support is a no brainer when you have chat gpt with your own company data you can imagine customer support already using it this is this is like a road map that they have shared but they are also looking forward to share even detailed road map with prospective customers so if you ever sign up for chat gpt enterprise you might actually get to know more details than what i've covered in this video but it seems like a lot of big companies are using it and seems like they are all loving using chat gpt in fact that's why if you see this blog post it has got multiple testimonials from klarna from asana from canva and all these companies using chat gpt enterprise and i'm definitely looking forward to see how how much of an adoption this is going to bring in for open ai right now the 80% that they are saying is based on the corporate email domains not necessarily it's a chat gpt enterprise adoption but i would definitely love to see chat gpt enterprise adoption more interestingly i mean this is really good like the enterprise version of chat gpt is good i'm also very surprised to know why did they rename code interpreter to advanced data analysis have they decided that code interpreter is primarily a data analysis tool um, i i don't know i don't know it's a, it's a very interesting rebranding for me i kind of like the code interpreter name in fact i was working on a course to release like a 1 hour 2 hour course on code interpreter but it seems like now i have to rename the course anyways either way i think i'm quite excited to see that there is an enterprise grade security privacy version of chat gpt available and it has been already used by a lot of big companies so if you were to sell this solution instead your own company you can simply go ahead and tell them hey pwc is using it bain is using it and you have got a lot of other big companies using it like zendesk so you you don't need to do a lot of sales i guess like if you want your company to use it but if there is any reason that you would not want your company to use it please let me know in the comment section i would love to hear about it but otherwise i'll link the required links in the youtube description happy prompting